anyways. I'm okay, I'm not really a speedrunner, but I will do like the simpler tricks. Like, I can't really do any of the MLG Pro stuff that people can pull off, but um, oh hey, I didn't even notice that until now. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do like the MLG Pro, Pro strats or anything like that. Um, like, there's only a few games where I can actually speed run decently like a was it there's sonic uh, sonic unleashed and all that because there's a ton of um well speed glitches you can do with mo um the daytime stages and i'm decent at them like i i still have some i still need to like practice more but that's like the only game that i'm like consistently decent at with speed running um at best Again, like, there's... I know of some tricks in some... In, um, certain games, but... Um... Nothing, like, spec... Like, super spectacular or anything. With a, with a few exceptions, of course, but... Still. <laughs> I'm just a... I, I like to consider myself as a... Pretty... Pretty decent gamer. Alright, well, okay. Like, a decent gamer, not like, not like, well, average, I'd say. Um, because I still, I still consider myself pretty, pretty good at playing video games. With some exceptions, like, I kind of suck at Halo, I'm going to be honest. Um, and, I don't know. There, there are some games that I'm not the best at at the moment, but for the majority of games I, I play... I I generally consider myself to be pretty average. But you know. Uh. <laughs> and now we're going to do a little bit of mumbo gameplay. So I okay. So I remember there's that one in the uh, little dinosaur cave or whatever. And I, and I think there was, yeah, there, there's one for, ne that's, that's next to Humber's Wigwam, which we're gonna, gonna be doing in a little bit. So what we're gonna do, actually, is use the warp pads to go, go to the areas quicker. So, we only have three warp pads right now, so, a little bit of a bummer, but oh well. So yeah, we're gonna make the wigwam huge, and it it does. There's a practical use for this. It's not just for show. Okay. And yeah, the warp pad doesn't. Oh, not the warp pad. Um, the little mumbo pad there doesn't go away for that one because you can. Uh, shrink it back to normal size and there's a reason for that you, you I'll, I'll get more into detail when we actually transform but we're gonna need both the small wigwam and big wigwam transformation it well it, it's not they aren't like completely different in what like what they are and this guy's wrecking me hard Okay. <laughs> yeah, that gets really far sometimes. Okay, so if I can I just use this? Cuz I s oh, right, I have to make this little small guy bigger. I'm pretty sure we have to use the this mumbo pad again. Or Oh, no, no, no. Um, well, th this little dinosaur quest is one of the... One of the most complex in the game, so... I still find a girlfriend now. Nice. Or, or maybe not. Maybe we don't use it. Okay, so... Right, we have... Basically, for this, um, we have a missing dinosaur 
and I think that's a witchy world from the dinosaur we found in witchy world at one point. Um, this guy is sick, or girl, <laughs> can't really tell, like, I I'm assuming it's a girl because of the eyelashes, but who, who really knows? Um, yeah, you need to bring him or her to the, uh, to Ch Chaffee the Train and go to Clifftop and then do a whole bunch of mumbo stuff. Because as you remember, there's a mumbo pad, well, a mumbo pad and a mumbo skull in, uh, Clifftop, so. Actually, what was I, what am I doing right now? Um, so we got the, okay. <laughs> I was just like, wait, what am I actually doing? <laughs> okay, because like, we did, I, I don't think there's any more mumbo pads here, so I think we're, it's safe for us to just go back to playing as Banjo now. All right, so let's just go back to Mumbo Skull. And I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, Globo is inside the Wigwam because Wigwam because I don't seem to be finding it anywhere else, so that's what I'm hoping for. We'll see if it comes, if my um, hopefulness comes true or, or whatever, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so we just make our way over here. I'm pretty sure there's a Cheeto page. It's either a Cheeto or a Honeycomb piece. So, we're just gonna find out in just a second. Alright, it was a Geo page. Okay. I was right the first time. Eh. Okay. Alright, so... What we want to do is... Okay, so... Hmm. Let's see, I'm trying to think, like, what should I do first? Um... Hmm. I guess I can. I, I guess I can just take care of the dinosaur quest because it may as well get the big, the big thing out of the way first. And like, you know, after this, we're not really going to use Mumbo in Mumbo in Cliff Top. At least I don't think we will. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I was, I wanted to use a grenade egg. Yeah. Okay, so, if you remember, we got that little, um, move with Banjo where we can pick up, pick up things. So, if we just go up here, and actually, oh, come on Banjo, you can grab onto that. Alright, so basically, we just try to get you in. Can't I? I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, it's okay, it's a boy. Okay. Yep. Just like I said. Scrat has gone missing. She took some money from my purse. How can a how can dinosaurs have purses? Like that that's just a really weird thought. Like I'd imagine they'd be they'd be massive considering the size of these guys. <laughs> it's good to know not every character in this game is bad. Nice. Okay, now we can do it. We had to talk to the mum first. Okay, so yeah, every time you get a uh, Thing in the backpack it goes like really big it becomes massive well not massive but consider considerably larger than what it was like before uh, I, I guess Kazuri is pretty light then <laughs> I don't know well she is pretty skinny so um, so essentially what we need to do is go over to the train station bring in Bring in the uh, Chuffy, and this is actually the first time we're doing this, because um, I, I remember saying that if you if you go up to this sign, it will tell you if you want if Chuffy uh, wants to pick you up. Yeah, there you go. 
it'll, it'll ask you that. If you press yes, it'll go from where wherever it was, it was before, and then go straight to you. So yeah. It's a pretty cool mechanic, like the whole train, the whole train thing. Um, it's not used too much, but how what it is used for are pretty in like pretty cool, like parts of the game. I feel like I, I feel it's not utilized to its fullest potential, but you know it's a it, it it's good that they don't make it overstay its welcome. Like this is the I, I want to say that this is the biggest um, quest that you have to do for the uh, train. All right, yeah, you can't leave. You can't leave with uh, worlds with um, Banjo or Kazooie alone because, like, you know, they're they're partners. You can't leave one behind. So we're gonna have to take Kazooie all the way to the train station and pair up with Banjo. So, yeah, we're gonna, gonna have to be temporarily leaving Terry Dacty Land. Not for too long though, but just for long enough so we can heal the uh, poor little dinosaur. Okay, so, I was about to say like, where is Banjo? <laughs> It's good to know that, well, it's a good thing that the um, little sparkly things that let you change are usually in good places where it can help a lot. And... Okay, so... I'm gonna try going to Witchy World first, because... I feel like... Feel like I feel like the, um... The dinosaur there should've, like went on to the the train oh no it should no because um i never went the train never went here so yeah she should uh, she just should just start running to the train instantly well let's see yeah there you go <laughs> Wonder what she bought her. <laughs> I mean, she had her mum's purse, right? So, yeah. <laughs> and now our second, uh, second stop will be the Isle of Hags in Cliff Top. Uh, Cliff Top. So. I, I I love how quick the transition is. Like it's obviously quicker from the N sixty four, considering the much more powerful hardware and all that. But it, I don't know. I, I just like how quick the transitions are. It's a little minor detail, but yeah, yeah. I, it's the same for the Kazooie remake as well. All right, so. Oh hi! You're you you. That seemed faster than usual. Okay, so let's just make our way back to mum. Well, to this mumbo skull, and you're it's your time to shine. <laughs> okay. And now we have to go to the trade of mumbo and get you out of here. No one likes you. I kind of like how um, there was kind of a build-up to Pterodactyl Land with that little flying enemy. Because it kind of looks like um, a prehistoric kind of thing. Like, what is it? I, I, my, my memory is like... Well, my brain is like not remembering any... What the uh, flying thing is like uh, I completely forgot but it, it's like that that's kind of, it's kind of like a a uh, build it builds you up from the from the start of the game all the way to pterodactyl land because you know 
It's kind of like a prehistoric enemy. Like the the flying enemy in in uh, like the fly, flying enemies in uh, Terry Dacty Land look a lot more prehistoric than that one, but it, it still looks pretty prehistoric. E, I I don't I don't know. Okay, so now we should be good. I think we just need to make our way back to the train, go back to Pterodactyl Land, and the family should be fine. Let's see. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> okay, so we just go on the go. I keep pressing X, I don't know why. Okay. No, I don't know if they run out by themselves or I'm I or I'm going to have to carry one of them. We'll see. I know for I think for a fact they run out um like different at different times. Like one after the other. And I like how the Minjo the Minjo doesn't target them or like run after them. All right. Yay. <laughs> okay then. Okay, yeah, we don't have to carry him. And now we should be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Kazuri took that better than I, I would expect. Yeah. I guess, uh... Ban Banjo's, like, uh, kind-hearted nature is rubbed off, rubbed off on her a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's see her. Um, let's see how far we're in, in the world. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> we only have one Jiggy, really? Uh, wow, okay. I, thought, I, I kind of expected us to have more than that. Uh, <laughs> well... It, hopefully it's gonna start sky the jiggies are gonna start skyrocketing because like well I know the um the boss gives you two jiggies at the start then it gives you another one so that that would make put the put the jiggies up to four and um we have these unga unga bungas there and that's gonna give us five. So let's see. 